my friends and welcome back to a new episode with Bayer Leverkusen. So after that spectacular 3-3 with Juventus, we took on Eintracht Frankfurt away from home. 4-1, Calix with a double and uh, he also had two assists for Nico Schulz and Andrea Constantino. 3-0 against uh, Mühen Gladbach with Constantino with a double and Madweke. 1-1 in the Champions League against Porto, we should have won easily by two or three goals. But, uh, you know, we got a little bit FM'd. Van Axel scored for us and uh, they equalized uh, with 12 minutes remaining. Nothing else happened after that. A heavy first defeat away from home against Wolfsburg. 4-0 after Tiwan Mira got sent off. Yeah, but we did bounce back with a huge victory against Bayern München. We were actually 1-0 down and 2-1 down, but we've managed to turn it around in the last 15 minutes. Madweke, Soren Larsen and Ogweme getting the victory late in the game. Another huge victory away from home in the Champions League against Tottenham. 3-2 with Constantino getting a hat-trick. Another big victory, 1-0 against Hamburg. They were second. Flavio Kalex getting the goal and we ended up getting knocked out of the cup by Leipzig 1-0. Yeah, we really got fm here, but that's life. Moving on. We're top of the league with one game in hand, 24 points out of 27, that's great. Bayern are second, so after that defeat Hamburg dropped to fourth. In the Champions League, we're second with five points, which is better than I expected. Today we're going to be facing Borussia Dortmund, who are having a poor start of the season, and Tottenham in the Champions League. With a win today against Tottenham, I think we're going to be favourites to qualify. We had some problems with uh, injuries. Cruz just came back from his injury. Victor Davila replaced him uh, for the last uh, three or four games and uh, he did uh, really great, uh, especially against Bayern, Hamburg or uh, Tottenham. Arezzo came back from his injury. He's on the bench because uh, Garcia is injured. Larsen got injured. He'll be out for around three weeks. So uh, for the game against uh, Dortmund, we're going to go with Van der Voort, Abidemi, Badiashil, Cruz, Zvilar, Farias, Mera, Kalex. Van Axel, Madweke and Constantino. Clearly we're favorites in this game. Put on a real show, yes boys. Here we go. We should win this game. We should win it and go for five points top of the league. Dortmund have Alvarez, Julian Alvarez, a former player from Lyonnais. Okay, here we go. First highlight after 27 minutes. Constantino. Calix. Kalex has been playing really well. Remember last time, last episode, I was talking shit about that. We're one up. Yes. Great job, Madweke. Remember last episode, I was talking shit about that uh, number 10 role. That uh, advanced playmaker uh, in the middle. Well, uh, Kalex has been playing really well lately. Madweke, what a finish. Great job, boys. All right, one in lap at half time. Uh, that's fine, but we could do a little bit better. Still, one Mera is not doing that well. I hope he doesn't get sent off again. You're not being good enough. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get on with it. Cruz to Konak. He just came back from his injury. Jesus Christ. All right, Victor Davila is coming in. And uh, you know what? Nico Schultz for uh, Van Axel, who's not doing that great. I have faith in you boys. At the end of the episode, I want to show you guys a player that I found. He's not a right back. He's a, a midfielder, but you got to see him. Arezzo is coming in for uh, Constantino. Why not? Constantino got tired. Okay, last minute. Highlight Schultz. Oh my word. But uh, he was offside. Oh, don't tell me they're going to equalize from this. Come on, blow the whistle. It's after five minutes. Calix. Bad ball. And it's over. Only 1-0. Boring game. Nice work. Yeah, Calix did all right. Madweke did all right. Badiashil is playing really well every time. And uh, Abidemi is doing really well. Okay, just two changes made for the game against Tottenham. Davila comes in uh, in defense because Cruz got injured. And uh, Schultz replaced Van Axel. Shit. Yeah, I forgot to record uh, 
the team talks, sorry about that. I just told them to do it for the fans. Here we go, the first highlight, Villar with a throw-in. Davila. Come on, boys. Mera. Madweke. It's Villar. Constantino. It's Villar. Back to Mera. Calix. Farias. Great ball. Schultz. Yes, mate. What an inspiration to play this guy, but it might have been offside. Let's see. Constantino might have been offside. Perez played a really great. No, it's uh, awarded. It. Great. Yeah, look at uh, this ball from uh, Ferrias. Great job, mate. Schultz, a simple tap in. Award the ball into the box and let's praise the lads. Hey, finally, uh, rating over 7 for uh, Svila. <laughs> Davila, it's on a yellow card. 1-0 at half time. Great job, boys. I'm pleased. We're doing well. Yeah, we're doing well. Okay, everybody's in the green. Now let's keep going. Let's uh, praise them again. And uh, here we go with a highlight for uh, Tottenham. Fabian, Kane, Zaniolo, Darwin, Kane and Son are still playing for Tottenham. Regulion with a cross and Darwin over the bar. Madweke is really tired. I should sub him off. Uh, oh, so close, Davila. Yeah, let's uh, see some. Uh, no, Van Axel is coming in for uh, Madweke, and uh, we switch shoot around. Make me proud, motherfucker. Now let's go. Another highlight for Tottenham: Soyuncu, Fabian, Rigulion. I think they're going to equalize. I can feel it. Oh, Van der Voort, another great chance for Tottenham. Great save, mate. But the highlight continues with a corner. Get it away, please. But the Achille was there. Davila. Place it to Spillar. Good ball to Schultz. Oh, Constantino, mate. Did not score for uh, the last two or three games. Oh, the highlight goes on. It smells like the equalizer now. Kane. Darwin. Oh my word. We got away with it again. Jesus. Calix is coming off. He had a poor game. Overall, he had a really good start of the season. But today's performance was really bad. I trust you, Jovan. Come on. Schultz. In the penalty area, that's uh, a corner. Great tackle, no penalty there. We don't get to see the corner, we move on. Just a few more minutes left, uh, let's just waste some time here. Uh, let's go with a lower tempo, and that's about it. Three minutes left, get it away. Oh no, 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 for fuck's sake. Let's see, maybe it was offside, come on. Disallow it, please. Please, mate. Yes. Yes. All right. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. He was offside. Come on. Just end it. <laughs> I don't want to see this highlight. Constantino. Working his ass off. He's really tired. It's Villar. Do we get a corner? No, we don't. And there's a chance for a counter-attack for Tottenham. That's a long ball towards Huge. Darwin he gets to it for fuck's sake. Get it away! Oh my word, what a chance. Yeah, we were a little bit lucky, but it's not over yet. Maybe a final highlight. Spillar. Schultz. That's a fall. Yes. Just waste it. Waste it. But yeah, shield. Oh, mate, you know what? I'm making the sub if there is uh, any time left with Schultz getting off and Rechm getting on. But uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Van der Voort. That's it. All right, it's done. Finally, what a huge victory. Yes, I know two games with only two goals, but uh, we got maximum points out of it. And that's great.
Yeah, look at that. Two more games to go. We play uh, Juventus home and Porto away. I think there's no doubt we're gonna qualify. So this is the guy that I was talking about. A 21-year-old box-to-box region. Now, what's special about this guy, not only that uh, he's a natural box-to-box, because -box, from my own experience, I know that the game does not produce too many of those, but he's actually pretty damn good at it. Great determination, he's a perfectionist, great physicals, I already bid for him. I barely made uh, this transfer fee, but I did it, it's his release clause. Yes, I offered him a contract, he's gonna be on 79k per week. Yes, maybe I should have waited a little bit, maybe I should have waited for that right, right back to pop up uh, on my scouting report. But you know, sometimes I do make transfers outside the transfer window, because uh, if I waited until January, I'm sure this guy would have signed for somebody else, for a better team. Anyway, next episode, uh, probably come back somewhere in January. Yeah, I don't know. We got knocked out of the cup, so that's done. Or maybe I should skip all the way to February, get to the first knockout round. That's probably going to be in the Champions League and not uh, Europa League. Yeah, I tell you what. I'll be back late in February for the game against Bayern München and uh, probably a game in the first knockout round, hopefully of the Champions League, that takes place uh, around that time. Well, that's about it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for sticking around with this save. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this if you haven't subscribed already. Give a like and, uh, you know, leave a comment, whatever comment you want. Maybe about that box to box that I've just signed. Can't wait for that guy to play for us. I'm sure he's going to be a world class player. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys for the next one.